Bread making can be an intense, lengthy process. But when you've got your heart set on soup for dinner tonight, this beer batter cheese bread can be on the table in under an hour. Now the goal for this loaf was an easy, lighter bread enhanced with the yeasty flavor of beer and a big hit of cheese. I'm starting with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. That's 12 and a half ounces. I'm adding one teaspoon of table salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. Now quick breads like this get their lift from chemical leaveners. In this case, I have a hefty four teaspoons of baking powder. Now that's going to add lightness to what can often be a pretty heavy bread. I'm also adding two tablespoons of sugar, which will enhance the browning and balance out the bitterness of the beer. And I have a half cup of minced chives, which will not only add some nice fresh flavor, but it's a great complement to the cheese. The chives really make the bread look pretty too. So I'll whisk this together to get everything distributed. The problem with a lot of cheese breads is that the cheese tends to melt into the batter and not really add much flavor. I'm starting with a super flavorful cheese. This is one and a half cups of shredded Gruyere. Now Gruyere has a lot of great flavor. I'm adding it now, crumbling it into the flour mixture to coat it with the flour, which will help it distribute more evenly throughout the bread, which means flavor from edge to edge. If Gruyere is not your favorite, or you'd prefer a different kind of cheese, you could use uh, smoked Gouda or extra sharp cheddar, something with some punch. You just want to stay away from meek cheeses like mild cheddar. So I'm adding some melted butter for added richness. This is three tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've melted. Now, I promised you beer bread, so I, we have to add some beer. This is one and a quarter cups of a mild American style lager. While the beer is there mostly to contribute lift because of its carbonation, it's also going to add some flavor. So save your hoppy IPAs and your heavy malty stouts for drinking. If you wouldn't drink this beer after you've mowed the lawn on a hot summer day, don't use it in this bread. <laughs> I'll mix this together until it's just combined. It'll be pretty thick, but you don't want to over mix it. This looks well mixed. So we're set to move on to my greased 10 inch cast iron skillet. I've greased it well because I want to get the bread out of the pan at some point. <laughs> so now I can add my batter to the skillet. It's a pretty stiff batter and it's really not going to spread or rise a whole lot once it goes into the oven. So I'm going to make sure that I spread it pretty nice and smoothly now. Cast iron is going to be great for this bread because it's really going to give us a nice browned crust on the bottom and the sides. It's going to help it bake evenly and quickly. You can grease the pan with vegetable oil. There's butter in the recipe, so you could use butter if you like. It's not our favorite. This looks nice and even, but we're not finished yet. We've already put cheese into the batter. We're not stopping there. I'm adding another half cup of shredded Gruyere to the top for an extra hit of cheesy flavor and to get a nice, lightly browned, craggy crust on top. Sounds good, right? Perfect. My oven rack is set in the middle position. I've heated the oven to 450 degrees. This is going in the oven until it's golden brown, until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. That's gonna take 20 to 25 minutes, and I will go in and rotate the skillet halfway through baking. Wow, that cheese smell is amazing. Oh. Look at that craggy topping from that extra cheese we put on top. So let's check. I'll test the bread with a toothpick near the center. Looks clean, no crumbs, which means it's done. I'll let this cool in the pan for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, so it's time to get this bread out of the pan. Now, even though it's rested a little bit, this pan is still hot, so I am gloved. Flip it out onto my wire rack. 
and then gently pop it out of the pan. Now you want to get it out of that cast iron skillet so it doesn't sog out the crust. And now I'll invert it onto another wire rack so it's right side up. Bread gymnastics. <laughs> Now I do need to let this cool for another 20 minutes to make sure that any excess moisture around the sides evaporates and to give the flavor a chance to develop. So be patient. It's been 20 minutes, so it's time to go in. Well, let's check it out. You can hear that crust. <laughs> Oh boy. Now that is a quick bread. There is so much cheese flavor in here. The texture is really tender on the inside, but we've got this great cheesy crust that almost tastes like cheese crackers. You know what I'm talking about? This is so cheesy and delicious. I think I even see a little pocket of cheese here that warm, nutty flavor from the Gruyere. This is not meat, this is not mild. This is, this is a lot of cheese flavor. The chives that are mixed throughout the bread keep it nice and moist, but they add so much great flavor, and they really do taste great with the cheese. And the beer, it just gives it a nice warm flavor. And that crust, it got nice and craggy, and it really gives us a nice textural contrast to that soft, tender inside. This is a great bread. I don't even know if you need to make the soup. <laughs> so just because you can make bread quickly doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the time to get the flavor right. So keep your cheese bold and your beer mild and you're on your way to a really nicely balanced loaf. It's from Cook's Country, beer batter cheese bread. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>